amici di Music Fan, diamo il bentornato ai nostri, ai nostri schermi, a Baby Lasagna, welcome Marco. Thank you. Grazie. First of all, how's been your summer so full of successes? Yeah, it's been hectic. It's been uh, a lot of concerts, a lot of tours, a lot of playing. Uh, to be honest, I haven't had uh, two days in a row that I can rest. But to be honest, again, I'm happy. And I always dreamt it since I was a little kid. So I'm really happy. It's been really busy. And you'll be playing live in Milan at Legend Club on the 3rd of October. What mm -hmm. do you expect from the Italian audience? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I never played in Italy. I only played in Trieste in like 10 years ago with my band. And yeah, this is totally different. So I don't know what to expect. I know that uh, Italians are a lot of passionate people, loud people in a good way, you know. So I think it's going to be a loud, loud concert. So, but to be honest, this is my first like meet uh, with Italian audience and I'm excited about it. I don't know what to expect. And instead, what can we expect from your concert in Italy? Oh, yeah. Well, uh, oftentimes uh, after my concert, I hear people are saying that it's been energetic, that it's been crazy and that it's been funny. So uh, we tend to play. Uh, it, we are just kids having fun. So it, sometimes it's funny uh, on the concert. So I think it's going to be f loud funny and uh, a good production value. And your new single, Big Boom Boom, is what was written one year ago. Why do you decide to release it nowadays? Uh, well, since I started, there hasn't been a plan. So I just wrote songs and I wrote the whole album. And then after that, I went on Dora with uh, Rim Tim Tagidim and Rim Tim Tagidim wasn't supposed to be even a single but me and my friend decided to to apply it on Dora and yeah I released it now because that's the song that created Baby Lasagna so I didn't create Baby Lasagna and then Biggie Boom Boom I firstly wrote Biggie Boom Boom and then I was like okay this could be a project this could be a band and yeah I released it because it's my favorite song uh, maybe I should have done it after Rim Tim Tagadim, but I, I don't know. It's I don't know. <laughs> There's not a big plan. And instead, I was born the video clip for this song, uh, which mm -hmm. is uh, kind of dark, uh, but really, really funny anyway. Yeah, I wanted it to be dark and again, funny. And I think the song is like that. So the song is. It's kind of goofy, right? Bim, bara, boom, bara, biggie, biggie, boom. But at the same time, it's singing about uh, anxiety and and hardships of those kind of like mindsets, although that's wrong to say, but you know what I mean. Uh, and that's what I wanted to, to, to put in the video. So it's scary, dark, but at the same time, funny, goofy or whatever. And I think we did an okay job with it. And which is the aspect that make uh, you prouder about your music? Uh, I don't know. I like when my music gets an attention in a sense that... I don't know. When, when people are shocked by my music, that's when I feel most proud. So when you surprise them... Uh, in a sense, when they're listening to my music and they will go like, oh, what is that? So maybe like the drop on Rim Tim Tagidim, they didn't expect the, 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 all of a sudden electric part. So when I get, what's that? I like that the most. So when the music is unpredictable in a way, but it at the same time feels familiar, that's when I feel proud because I think that's the most important thing when can, when it comes to songwriting, to be unpredictable, unpredictable but at the same time familiar. And you also like to experiment in music because, for example, And I has this 50s rhythm, which is kind of different of the other songs we could hear. Mm -hmm. So there's something else you'd like to experiment in the future. Yes. Uh, right now behind me is a computer and my studio. So I'm writing a new song, which will maybe come out in 2026. I don't know. But it's kind of a old school hip hop maybe with some gorillas 
uh, you know, uh, in them. So I don't know. I, I, I would like to experiment with hip hop, with trap music, with metal music more. So more rim team targeting moments like rock music and metal. So but I would like to do everything, maybe jazz. I don't know. I just, it's fun to do that. And I think uh, I know that the audience maybe doesn't like it, but <laughs> well, <laughs> I need to do my thing, you know? Yeah. And which can be instead the role of the artificial intelligence in creating music? Uh, uh, well, for me, I haven't had the experience of using artificial intelligence yet. Uh, I don't know. I really haven't thought about it yet. I know my friend had to write some generic music, something, and he didn't want to write the lyrics, so he gave it to Chat GTP to write the lyrics for it. And I don't know, it feels kind of wrong, but again, who am I to tell someone not to use it or to use it? I don't know. Uh, it feels kind of weird to me. I'm, I know I'm going to stray away from, from it for quite some time. I'm not planning on using it. Uh, so I don't know, maybe in the future, who knows? Maybe in the future, there won't be a need for me. Some guy will just, hey, write a song in a baby lasagna way and you will have a new baby lasagna album and you you won't need me to do it. <laughs> Hope not, die. Come on. Yeah. And uh, which instead is the best compliment you received from a colleague after the Eurovision? After the Eurovision? Well, I don't know, but uh, my best compliment is when my fiance or my mom and dad, dad or my family tell me that they're proud of me. So maybe that's so we're proud of you. So that's maybe the like my favorite compliment that I get. Yeah. And uh, from the Eurovision, uh, your um, there's some song that reminded to you after this experience some songs you still like or uh, listen to? Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, well, I like uh, Greece's song from Marina. I like uh, Marcus and Martinus, She's Unforgettable. Uh, Nemo has a, I mean, uh, their song, The Code, is for me amazing and it's been since, like, ever. And, yeah, I think there are a few songs, like, uh, yesterday I listened to Lila Ramonda, and uh veronica so there's a lot of songs that i like actually from from so yeah and estonian guys were just uh, with me in ljubljana we played the show together so i listened to their songs so yeah there, a lot of songs are good songs you know but they stay with you so yeah good. and instead if we meet again next year in a year from now what would you like to have achieved uh... I would like to have uh, those shows in 2025. I would like to have them sold out. I would like to have an album out uh, and be writing on the second album. And yeah, that's basically it. Just continue to work on music and to live off of music. I'm a simple guy. I don't really dream that much about Grammys or whatever. I'm just... Uh, I would love to have more shows and more sold out shows and more audiences to to dance with us and that's pretty much it. So, thank you very much Marco, it's been a pleasure and we can wait to see you in a few weeks in Milan on the 3rd of October. Yeah, I can't wait either see you there and there's so I don't know if I have to tell you but I think there's only like 25 tickets left. I will post it on my social media so it's close to sold, folding out. So thank you for the interview, Gabriel, and Mamel. Bye. Bye.